welcome back to the Freak Show. Pumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with the Triple P series. We're playing Fallen Enchantress, and we're technically like on our second actual episode into the scenario or campaign mode, if you will. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that we should be doing, and we're trying to do it. Our spearmen are getting built slowly but surely, and we have ourselves some other dudes over here. We have Lord Aurelius, we have a Sh Shirain, I guess, Shirain. And uh, we actually have Spearman now. There's also Gnari over here, who we are going to go and do the battles with. It's going to be glorious. Probably. I don't know. I, we're probably just going to end up talking to him. I'm not really sure. Ah, there we go. A prisoner's proposal. Not long after leaving Abara Nurg, you stumble across a ragged-looking man along the side of the road. He gives you a seedy grin, then speaks. Greetings, traveler. You stare at him, unimpressed. Who are you? What are you doing here? Let me guess. You're another bandit. Ha <laughs> ha, no comment. Name's Gnari, I guess? Gnari? I was locked up in jail in Abara Nurg when those creatures attacked. Someone managed to kick them out, and during the mess I was able to escape. Well, I ain't got much to do now, though. Eh, you seem like an interesting crew. Tell you what. If you prove your mettle by slaying one of them ogres to the southeast, I'll call you my boss. He grins a vile grin. Shireen leans toward you. He seems to be a seedy fellow, but based on what we've run into so far, we probably could use the extra help. What do you think, Relius? You frown. Ogres aren't butchermen. They're tough. Then again, I told everyone back home I killed one. You ponder the man's offer while visions of fame and glory dance through your mind. Well, that seems like a... A very potentially awful strategy. Um, before we do that, is it viable for us to maybe go play with the the spiders? Ooh, we researched a new technology. Throwing knives, war hammers, axes, daggers, crude axes, and the red watch. Cool. Let's open the research. We'll continue down the warfare line. We have archery and blacksmithery. It's going to be archery. Journal of the Expedition. Like, uh, is this a thing that I'm... No? I, I don't... I'm not sure what I did to bring that up, but that's okay. Why? I, I don't know why, but it's probably fine. Oh, laggy lag. All right, do we want to wait for the other spearmen, or do we just man up and do it? We're manning up. We're doing it. Come on, spider. What do you got? I'm a little concerned, but not horribly. It really depends on how well or... Poorly, my people hit. Oh, they're also not fully healed. Didn't really see that coming. That's okay. Alright, I think I can probably just... Uh, oh. <laughs> Run away! Alright, fire your arrow. Very nice. I guess we'll wait again. Have you back up. Gonna have you launch your attack. Gonna have you back up one step. Yeah, wait again. Uh, probably not gonna use you for much. Get you to move over here. I suppose I could probably move over. I will use my burning hands of doom to light you on fire. And attack. Oh, you dodged it this time. That's not great. We're going to do the swing, hopefully preventing the counterattack. Oh. That's a little terrifying. Do we have the oomph? I think we might. Oh, it got resisted. Relius is dead. Well, we'll see what happens when somebody falls. I don't think our heroes die and, like, it's game over. But it might be. We'll see. No, oh, he seems to be fine. He he's alive. I wonder. I wonder if it's due to the like game mechanics or. Also, I don't believe he got any experience. Sixteen out of twenty-six, where she is twenty-four out of twenty-six. That is interesting. Well, there you go, guys and gals. I done messed up, but in the end, I guess it didn't matter too too much. The spider made its home in the house's cellar. Within the layers of webbing and loose earth, you found a magical item. 
Yay! Are these arm guards combined defense and tetanus in one convenient package? Rusty van braces. Fantastic. Why not? Alright, so let's see who has those. Uh, armor. Sure. You could probably use those. Well, I feel I feel like I let you all down. I, I cut myself real deep right there. Failing that battle. Like a noob. Well, hopefully we'll heal up by the time. Oh, cool. Our spearmen are here. I'm actually going to have them wait there. And we're going to meet up with them. And I'm going to make sure that we're all back to full health. He's got a ways to go. Not too much. A little ways. Our spearmen are pretty weak still, too. Oh, I'm going to have them combine. Okay, so while that's happening, let's go take a peek here. Training. What can we train now? The Red Watch is available, and Defenders are available. Probably the better choice, but it's going to take them a long time. We don't have enough metal to get those guys up and running. 8 times 3. These guys have 8 times 3 as well. Interesting. Alright, I'm done with those, building-wise. Uh, food per grain, interesting. Town hall, the well, growth per season, and then... Aren't we building stuff in these other places as well? The water altar is not done yet. And that's not done yet either. Alright, well, we'll get that stuff done. We have these guys, we're going to have them sit there. We're going to end our turn once. We can govern... Oh, huh, interesting. Want to know more about using the ledger screen? Watch the tutorial for more info. Nah, I'm okay. Governing your faction? No. Nope. Ledger screen, huh? There are no other factions in this scenario. So, I've already lost to, well, basic troops at this point. Like, I got wrecked by some of the more sad things in this world. Uh, a spider got me. I'm so ashamed. I also feel like... Didn't we capture this town over here? Shouldn't this be ours? Oh, we're under attack. Apparently somebody took the town from us while we were doing other things. Well, it's okay. We'll go into battle. We'll fight some bandits. I didn't realize that that could happen. So, <laughs> joke's on me, I guess. Surprise. Come forward, you filthy bandits. Prepare to die. I could have used bread and stuff to heal up. I really didn't think I'd need it. I also didn't feel like resisting was going to be something I was going to have to worry about. That did make me a little bit sad, I'm not going to lie. I think I'm just going to wait it out. Either let our archer chick finish them all off or kill them when they move forward. Now we got four monies. Ludrelius, a troop of Hashani bandits. It seems they've heard of our arrival. We should take care of this group and find out where they're coming from. More thieves? It's no wonder no one ever wants to live here. Hey! And Shireen decides that she wants to level up. Okay, we can get more strength, potential, finesse, enmity, or air disciple. Allows the unit to cast rank 2 air spells like Guardian Wind and Tutelage. Allies gain 15 dodge, 5 per air shard versus ranged attacks. Target gains experience at a 25% faster rate. Um, I feel like she's probably going to want to shoot more often. I don't know that that's necessarily the best bet. Her initiative is terrible, though. That's my, my biggest problem. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. Alright, let's get our crew to step out, and I guess that's not technically... Dude, hold on, do we have to do something to, like, claim the city? Great city, the only way forward is through the city gates of Village Beyond. I guess it's destroyed, it does kind of look like ruins after all, so... I guess that's fine. Our main mission is to go up in that direction. But, over here, I believe, we maybe go and do battle with the ogre. Oh, we should be able to handle that. 
The beast area of Ithu, the Yoga. Much is said of the origin of these beasts, but of all the stories I have heard, this is the one I believe to hold the greatest truth. In the time of the dragons, there lived a girl named Olana. She was daughter to a great Nimer chieftain, sure, and wise as she was fair to look upon. But because she was a woman, when her father died, she could not become chief of her clan. This angered her, and so Olana fled north into the wilderness, into the White Mountains, taking shelter in the catacombs deep beneath those peaks. One day to her one day to her cavern came the adventurer known as a Garot or a Garot or Snow Ogre. Okay. This beast is man eater but was captivated by Olana's beauty. They lay together in the darkness and made a child, and this was the first ogre. A dozen times more they did this, and each of her children Olana taught to hate man, and to live in the solitude always lest they be corrupted by their ways. Each new generation of these creatures was taught the same, and thus it is said that these beasts are ever solitary and ever spiteful and angry toward mankind. Well, then I suppose we should ever kill one of them and hope that we don't die. Yeah, seems legit, right? No? Maybe? He's big. He's a biggin'. He is a biggin'. Look at him. Look at him over there. He's like, I'm an ogre. What you gonna do? Get in my belly. No, that's, that's a different ogre. All right, spear people. Form up lines. Form up ranks. He's got one eye. Maybe. that will be a Cyclops, I guess, technically. Not really an ogre. Not really an ogre-clops. Don't miss this time, please. There you go. Captain Stinky Ogre himself is like, I'm a stinky ogre. I'm gonna stand here and get shot with arrows. Alright, well, it looks like our range is just gonna rule the day. I mean, that's... It is what it is. All right, good stuff all around. I am a fan. We destroyed the ogre because, you know, that's what we do. All right, we now can get Adventurer's Boon. Probably what I'm going to get. It says it's a rare skill. I guess all of these are rare, or at least the top two are rare. Fire Disciple also seems really, really, really ridiculously good. A burning Blade enchants the champion's weapon. It does plus two, plus one per fire shard, fire damage. Uh, flame Dart sends a dart, so we can actually be a little bit ranged, and Pillar of Flame. But the Adventurer's Boon seems really good, too. Ugh, it's tough. Maybe it'll stay? I hope it stays. So I'm going to go with Fire Disciple for him. We did it, Relius. We killed an ogre. You were right. They are a bit tougher than Butcherman. Maybe we should go pay that guy back by Abara Nurg a visit. Yeah, just a bit tougher. But there's a Black Widow army that looks like it could probably kill us a lot. So let's go away from this place. Hopefully not dying on the way. Ha! So you really managed to kill one of those things, huh? Fine, a deal's a deal. Even Nari is true to his word, sometimes. Just stay out of trouble, alright? I have enough to worry about. Alright, what does he got here? Bash strength and muscle cool interesting and weird all at the same time they are still relatively strong I think we can handle them let's give it a shot uh, unit count 4, unit count 9 I, we'll, we'll see we'll see how the battle goes All right, so they are split up over on the side there. They can kind of move. I'm going to move here. Why is he hurt? I don't remember the spearman getting hit by anything. I feel like that seems odd to me. But don't I have a, a spell? I thought I had um, another one, too. Didn't I have a pillar of fire or something? No? Could have sworn I saw that. Alright, whatever. We'll use our flame dart, I guess. 
I knew the webbing was gonna eventually come. Beguile. Ooh. Webbed, okay. That's fine. Still fine. Seems like a bit of an odd choice, to be sure. And, oh, dodged. That's, that's about what I should have expected. Not sure why I expected anything else. We do use mana for this. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna hold back. What what does that mean? Does that mean he's now Uh oh. Why do I have a bad feeling like all of our people are now currently enemies? Oh boy. Oh, there oh, well, I don't know what Beguile did, but didn't do enough, whatever it was. 24 mana. I don't know how often we, we get 3 mana per turn. Okay, that's that's probably alright. Let's go ahead and do the Flame Dot of Doom. And then just stand there with a the weird naked guy because, you know, that's what weird naked people do. They stand around and they wait. Um, doesn't look like we can move? With our webbed folk. I want to move up there and do some stuff, but doesn't look like I can. Ten mana. Now let's just smack you. Oh! Oh, somehow I'm clumsy enough to hit the people behind me because of logic and reasoning that I don't quite understand. Ouch. Okay, that was mildly impressive. Still can't move, can you, buddy? You can, but not really, huh? I'm just gonna be over here if you need me. Sorry. Get lit on fire, sort of, I guess, and we'll see how the big, how strong the big dude is. Ah, pretty strong. A mildly impressive hit. So we got two spider silk and some venom sacks. We did survive, and we all got a bunch of what are the crowns like experience. I am assuming so nine, nine, four, four, and nine. Well, that was slightly terrifying, but you know what? We got through it. Most of what the crates contained have been ruined, except for a single item. Use this scroll to summon a fireball that does eighteen plus four per fire shard. Fire damage to units within a one tile radius. Okay. Cool. I am a fan. I'm a fan of all of that. Alright, so I guess we can go here to Marlene, a simple country village whose rough hewn streets and ramshackle house speak of a people fallen on hard times. The curse of Carnamorne. Sure, Carnamorne. At the outskirts of a small village, a boy steps forward onto the road. Please, sir, I'm thirsty, he says. You hand him a flagon of water. A dozen other children rush forward, then begging then begging for water as well. Why are you thirsty, kids, you ask, and where are your parents? Looking for Tavish, sir, the first boy says. He's the one who fixes the water so we can drink it, but he ain't come back in days. See, the water here is cursed, sir. The curse of the crying mountain. The fallen. Not a curse, another child speaks up. It's fouled. Cause it don't flow no more, my dad says. But Tavish fixes that. They went north to find him. The first boy says, Maybe you could help look too, sir. You frown. The village is clearly in need, and yet... Odinvel awaits. Shireen puts her hand on your shoulder. What should we do? Search for the Bear of Doom, I think, is one of the things that we could potentially do. Not sure we want to. Also, there's um, this place. Raised in honor of the elemental lord Amorian, the ruins of this vast sanctuary may yet contain unexplored passages and undiscovered treasures. Also, possibly my death. We'll see. The Hammer of Dunadar. Oh boy, there's some ogres coming over that don't look too happy. A great mace marked with the image of the staff and the sword. The seal of Adunadar. Great mace, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Well, let's go take a look at our equipment, shall we? We have a whole bunch of stuff. Health regeneration. Assassin's knife. I think I'm going to trade this to Nari. What is he using? A maul. 28 two-handed. This is not two-handed. This is one-handed. I suppose I will use that then instead. It lowers my initiative though. Which makes me sad because I feel like it's really helping us, the fact that we have that. Well, maybe I'll just hold on to it. Why not? Does she have anything cool that she's holding on to? No, not really. And what about... No. Okay. Well, I suppose. We should probably go meet with these guys, huh? Looks like we're fully healed. Okay. My club will crush your chest. My fist will break your bones. My teeth will tear your flesh. Uh-huh. You're just gonna run from me. Ah, there we go. We caught up to him. Well, this should be a pretty easy fight, I would have to say. But honestly, I do not know. It could be very, very, very detrimental to us in all ways. I'm not going to use mana if I can help it. Alright, we'll see. I may need to use mana, but I'm going to try not to. I feel like I, I shouldn't have moved there. Can I, can I undo my move? Because I feel like I done made a mistake. Huh. Well. I guess I'll just set the man up and, and handle business. Eh. Pass our turn. I'll step forward with him. I'm hoping that our defensive stance gives us a small edge, but I'm... Actually, a little concerned right now that that's not going to be the case. They just... Oh, I thought they just, like, flat killed him right away. I'm like, what? That should not have... Uh, that should not have happened. Please hit him. Thank you. Man, we are terrible at our jobs, aren't we? Oh my gosh. How are you so bad? Well, I think our spearman is... Oh, he dodged too! What? The last possible minute. The chance of death was there. But it was denied. And we said good day, Ogre. That was, that was a little too close for comfort. Alright, 16. We got some experience once again. Yeah, not bad. Oh boy, howdy. That is not something that I am ready to deal with. I'm going to run away. Hey, we can now create archers. Cool. Let's open our research again. And blacksmithing would be probably pretty good. Alright, we're going to go after the bear now. I believe that's going to be my, my strategy moving forward. Let's see if we can't actually... Face off against the old Barry Bear. The, the thing is, he's a bear that's named Barry. That's why he's a Barry Bear. No, no, not that. It's fine. I believe after this battle with the Bear of Doom, we will probably end up breaking off the episode. We'll see. We shall see. Nope. We'll sit back and defend the archer. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're going to do. Boom. Come forth. Yeah, that's fine. It's gonna attack. Oh, beautiful. Actually, was not expecting that. That's cool. Oh, you just got wrecked. Our spearmen doing some work finally. Look at these guys pulling out all the stops. And we got a bear pelt too. Could probably sell that somewhere. Primitive settlement of mud roads and thatched huts. Interesting. 
Nothing? Nothing going on there, huh? Yurwin. Here is the humble settlement of Yurwin, a welcome sight nonetheless after your travels. There is an inn here and street and a street of merchants. Your champions may purchase new equipment and items from this neutral city by pressing the shop button in the active unit's action panel. Yeah, cool. That's kind of interesting, I suppose. Some nasty looking things over there. Darkling Raider. Is it Raider or Riders? Riders Army. It does say it's weak. Let's go here first. We find an item. It's a hearty brew. Cool. It's fine. Alright, so if we go there, we can shop. We can shop. Hey, we can get some actual equipment, which is pretty nice. Uh, cutting defense versus just defense. These are all cutting defense. I feel like the leather equipment seems to be like a better overall thing. I mean, it's less defense, but it's not just cutting defense. And we're using a one-handed sword, so we should be able to get a shield too. Dodge and defense while defending. This is plus two dodge. This is plus four. So the round shield is definitely better. So, yeah, I'd like to buy and equip that. Buy and equip. Buy and equip. And are we broke now? Are we tapped out? Can he not carry any more stuff? Looks like his weight, his encumbrance is there. It does lower his armor just a bit. His encumbrance is medium right now. Minus two. I'd like to keep him lighter if I could. What if we remove this? Just unequip it. He's still in the medium encumbrance area. Weight of five, weight of two. We'll unequip that as well. That didn't seem to do much. So he's at 17. I think I'd have to trade some of this stuff. I feel like it's weird how... Like equipping this... Weight of 6, weight of 2... Moves him up so far. Unequip it, it goes down. Unequip that, it doesn't seem to change. What if we unequip this? That's weird. That's so strange. Well, we'll play around with it a little bit. Maybe we'll get like a... I can't... Oh, because it's, it's too expensive. Alright, I'm like, I can't afford this, really? I think I'm going to sell some of this other stuff. I'll sell the dagger. I'm going to sell the assassin's knife. Maybe No, I think I'll hold the assassin's knife. I will sell the caster's weapon. Let's go with a... Yeah, we'll buy and equip the helmet. There we go. So that's a little bit of uh, stuff for him. Alright, let's go ahead and say done. I'm going to go here to trade... And right now he is at what? He's still at medium? So if he unequips that, he's now at light. So that's five, that's two. If he unequips this, and he equips this, does that put us from back? Oh, it does, okay. Unequip. All right, it's, it's, sorry guys, it's going to take me a little bit to get my head around exactly what we're doing here. I think we're going to equip his hat. And then we're going to trade this other stuff over to our buddy over here. I see light right now. He's medium anyway. So we'll trade that. We'll trade that. And we'll trade that. And yeah, I think that's okay. Let's go back here. 
and he's actually medium right now. So equipping these was too much for him. Trade and equip. Oh, I guess we just unequip that. Is he back down to light? See, he's medium again. Why is he medium? Just trade. Trade and equip. I. Hmm. Let's switch over to the other guy. Let's see, I guess we could trade him that and maybe this? He's still medium. Our boy up here, I don't I don't understand. Wasn't I just light a second ago? How am I how am I now not? I don't understand. We unequip the helmet. He goes light. But he's right at forty percent. Whatever, it's it's fine. Maybe I did something stupid and I don't realize what it was that I did specifically, but that's that's it's okay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I guess that's going to do it. I, I know I spent a lot of time doing that, you know, going through the various different things, leveling up, equipment and all that stuff. So, we got some battles in there. We did some fighting, and we're kind of slowly progressing over the map. Hopefully you guys are enjoying, and I will see you in the very next episode. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>